Good morning. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for being here. Uh, this is a, an awesome uh, traffic center. Uh, I guess this is the uh, cutting edge of uh, high technology. My name is Mike LaVault. I'm the mayor of Youngtown, and I'm also the chairman of the Maricopa Association of Governments, or MAG. Uh, I'm the chair of the Regional Council. We're here today uh, to celebrate a little bit. Uh, what uh, we're going to talk about is a great example of government actually uh, injecting some common sense into uh, the way it uh, conducts its business. And uh, th we're talking about a tremendous uh, intergovernmental uh, partnership and collaboration, if you will, uh, that addresses a need that we identified, uh, that is the, the problem of traffic delays and safety on the freeway system. Uh, and as I said, we decided to implement uh, what we think is a proven uh, and effective solution uh, that we've seen work in other parts of the country. In August, uh, the MAG Regional Council voted to partner with ADOT, DPS, and uh, Federal Highway uh, Administration in a three-year pilot program to co-locate DPS officers here at the ADOT Traffic Operations Center. The cost of this three-year pilot program uh, is equally shared by MAG and ADOT, uh, which is $450,000 for the first year and $425,000 for each subsequent year. The program will pay for three DPS officers and a DPS supervisor. The operators uh, in the room uh, in front of me have access to uh, more than 200 traffic cameras. Uh, you can see the displays in front of you. Uh, they can display video from up to 160 cameras at one time, uh, and we think by placing a trained officer here in the uh, Traffic Operations Center that that officer will be able to see crash sites immediately and more quickly help determine the specific resources needed, uh, with uh, the goal being clearing the crash scene uh, as quickly as possible and reducing the potential for secondary crashes. We believe we'll see a number of benefits, including improved safety and travel time savings and a reduction in secondary crashes. There is a, uh, a negative impact on the economy, of course, when motorists are delayed in traffic for things like crashes. Uh, MAG did a uh, traffic simulation analysis and found that improvements to the process by having a DPS officer in the traffic operations center uh, could result in a 33% reduction in overall traffic delay caused by a two-hour freeway uh, closure due to a major crash. Uh, and that's based on uh, the experience of a similar program that uh, has been a success in the state of Utah. Under this same analysis, if you applied that reduction to a 36-mile segment of Interstate 10 over a one-year uh, time period, it would equate to a savings of $6.6 .6 million dollars in what would have otherwise been lost productivity. Time really is money. The Regional Council fur further ensured accountability in the process by calling for annual performance reports and by agreeing to jointly fund the first three years as a pilot uh, project. To learn more about the uh, way that this program will specifically benefit uh, the city of Phoenix, I'm going to turn the microphone over now to uh, Phoenix Mayor Greg Stanton. Thank you very much, uh, Mayor Laval, for uh, uh, hosting us here today, as well as for your great leadership as chair of the MAG Regional Committee, which means that he has to herd cats. He has to herd over 20 uh, mayors and representatives from cities from around the valley as the, as the leader of our MAG organization. This program that is being announced here today may seem counterintuitive at first. Why would MAG, an organization made up of cities and mayors from around the valley, uh, local government, be funding a position for state government through DPS uh, so that they can partner here with the State Department of Transportation? Uh, why would we, as local government, be involved with what look, look should, on the surface, look like a state-to-state -state transaction? And it's for the reason exactly what Mayor Lavalt just said, is because when bad things happen on the screens behind us uh, on our freeways, it has a great impact, a big impact on uh, cities. When people can't get to their jobs on, as quickly as possible because of backups on our freeway, it affects our economy. When, fam when people can't get home uh, in the evenings during rush hour to their families, it impacts their quality of life. When there are backups on our freeway, too often cars will jump off the freeway and cut through our neighborhoods in Phoenix and many other cities around uh, the valley. And when we're not as efficient as possible in terms of 
helping those in need who have been in an accident and clearing it as quickly as possible. Our public safety officers, police officers, firefighters, emergency uh, officials, um, paramedics, uh, they, are, they are not on the street as quickly as they could helping other people in our community. So though it may seem counterintuitive at first, when you think about the benefit by doing this, it has a huge positive impact on cities like Phoenix and cities uh, throughout the, the Valley. So I'm really grateful that MAG had the opportunity to participate in this very innovative public safety program, I mean, pu putting public safety officials right here uh, at ADOT so that we can better manage accidents, clear those accidents quickly. It's for the safety of our, uh, our citizens, for the quality of life of our citizens, and ultimately for the benefit of our, our economy. This is what regional partnership looks like. This demonstrates how agencies can work together to find more efficient ways to do business. We have many de demands on our transportation budget and it is especially rewarding that we can find solutions that use technology to help manage traffic while at the same time improving safety. This is the kind of state and regional partnership that also benefits communities like Phoenix. When freeways are closed, local jurisdictions can be more quickly alerted, which will help us manage our traffic in our cities and in our communities. This new program is a great example of finding ways that we can work together to save time, effort, and this program will save lives. In the city of Phoenix, our streets are often affected when freeways are clogged. On an average weekday, our streets handle more than 40% of the trips in our entire region. So when our major freeways are closed, that means much of the traffic will make its way through our streets. Under this partnership being announced here today, when the operations center notifies us as quickly as they will be able to do so now with the DPS officers housed right here, we can adjust local traffic patterns and our signals to better manage traffic. And Phoenix right now is working with ADOT and Maricopa County on a very innovative agreement that will enable the county to help manage Phoenix traffic signals during freeway closures during times when city staff may not be on uh, duty. We hope that's not often the case, but when it is, the public demands efficient uh, operations. They don't want any delay, so we want to make sure people can get to their work or to their families as quickly as possible. Another benefit of this innovative partnership, 125 miles of freeway go through the city of Phoenix, meaning that accidents on those roadways require Phoenix ambulance and fire services. If we can clear crashes even faster, emergency crews will be more available and more quickly to answer other calls to help other people in our community. So it's no exaggeration to say that this collaborative relationship between MAG, ADOT, and DPS will make our transportation system one of the best in the nation. So as mayor of Phoenix, I want to commend MAG and the professional staff, the leadership of MAG, Mayor Lavault, the leadership that you provide to this organization for having an open mind for these innovative type partnerships, our friends at ADOT, and of course DPS for partnering on this important effort. The MAG Regional Council will be closely monitoring this pilot program, and we believe it will serve as a national model. We have to engage in best practices, and when we have best practices, we like to share them with the rest of the country. Now it is my honor to bring next to the podium uh, the leader of the Arizona Department of Transportation, Director John Halikowski. Well, thank you, Mr. Mayor, and good morning, everyone. I'm very pleased and honored to be here. I think that what we have to understand is that given all the technology that we have, traffic safety is not just about technology. It's very important that we focus on relationships and how those relationships bring us a better product through more resources. And Chairman LaVault, Mayor Carla Petty, our Administrator from FHWA and Director Halliday, would just like to say thank you to all of you for the partnerships that we have formed over the years and especially as we stand here today in ADOT's Traffic Operations Center. What we have is a center that operates 24-7, 365 days a year, and the men and women in here, as you can tell, are very active in managing the regional freeway system. You've heard lots of numbers already, figures about how many and, and how much, but let me just focus on the fact that the state of Arizona um, has to be able to put in place a comprehensive statewide highway safety plan. And that's in fact what we have collaborated on and what you're seeing here are the first fruits of that plan. 
what the plan does is it focuses on 12 major emphasis areas and traffic incident management is one of them. And of course, what we have is a DPS officer at the ADOT Traffic Operations Center 24 seven to support the highway safety plan by implementing reliable communications uh, systems for traffic incident management. We will reduce the duration and impacts of traffic accidents. We'll reduce the occurrence of secondary collisions. And as you've heard, we will improve the safety of motorists, crash victims, and emergency responders. So ADOT, the Department of Public Safety, the Governor's Office of Highway Safety, the Federal Highway Administration, MAG, and our other regional entities, along with our friends at the City of Phoenix, are continuing to work to make Arizona's state roads and freeways much safer for our motorists. As you've heard, traffic safety is everybody's business, but it's also good for business. Besides saving lives, and we can improve our economy by reducing traffic incidents. In an ever-changing world where technology continues to become more and more of the forefront, with connected vehicles, handheld devices, and, and drivers, it is imperative that we continue to focus on how we best manage incidents when they happen. We can build safe roads. We can add technology to speed up the trip. We can add technology to make them safer. But when it comes down to it, one of the main things we have to do is change driver behavior. Impaired drivers, aggressive drivers, have no place on the road when we are talking about traffic safety. Unfortunately, when crashes do occur, that's when incident management becomes most important. So we appreciate our partnership with our fellows up here and it will help fund this pilot program. And I wanna focus on one last thing. Transportation is personal. It's personal to each and every one of these folks up here, including myself. We have dedicated our lives and careers to ensuring highway safety and delivering a safe and efficient transportation system. But it's also personal to the motorists who use our roads every day. And we want to ensure that we are giving them the best that we possibly can in Arizona's transportation system. So I wanna thank my partners and um, would like to introduce next our next speaker, Director of the uh, Department of Public Safety, Robert Halliday. Director Halliday. Good morning, everyone. Uh, typically, when I get in the room and I hear Treasurer mentioned, I gravitate to those people and ask for money. Mayor, I was told to stay away from you this morning, uh, that money is kind of thin. Uh, before I start my presentation, I always have the privilege of standing up here before you representing the Department of Public Safety as its director. But what I'd like you to do is pan to your right, to your right, the people that really make this happen, the little small guy all the way back of the room, Major Bill Beck, raise your hand, Bill. He is the, he is the, uh, the, the commander that takes care of all the metropolitan Phoenix freeway systems, uh, gets it done. The other, we refer to him as James Cartier, more affectionately known as JP, a motor that has ridden these roads uh, in a lot of different capacities, will be your online supervisor here. Uh, they're the running backs. As I said, I get to stand up here in this position, but they're the people that really make this happen, and I, want to, uh, I don't want this morning to, to pass by without recognizing them. Uh, the Arizona Department of Public Safety is proud to partner with the Maricopa County Association of Governments and the Arizona Department of Transportation in the placement of sworn DPS officers in the Traffic Operations Center. These specifically trained officers will help alert highway patrol units to collisions, especially during high volume truck hours and, and what we refer to as peak rush hour periods. It is important to have, have trained and experienced highway patrol officers working in the TOC, this, this place that we're in this morning. They know how to direct our units to a collision or disabled motorist to get emergency equipment quickly to the scene. As you know, that is all important. All of this is aimed at helping our highway patrol officers to quickly clear the highway so traffic delays and secondary collisions are kept at a minimum. The officers are being paid under a three-year grant. Thank you, everyone through the ADOT and the, Mar and the Maricopa County, or the Maricopa Association of Governments. The officers will be under the supervision of JP, who I spoke to earlier, has been working in the TOC since the beginning of September of this year. He will eventually supervise three DPS officers working different shifts in the Traffic Operations Center. Our partnerships also allows ADOT to take advantage of our CAD system, computer-aided dispatch, that otherwise known as, as that, which list all calls involving our Ohio Patrol units and the Metropolitan Phoenix Freeway. 
those are just a couple of things that I wanted to make, make you aware of. But you know, as has been said here already this morning, one of the most significant things we can do is make the roadways as safe as we possibly can in people's traverse throughout the cities and the people are coming through our city to other destinations. And the traffic is always one of those issues. But I absolutely agree with Director Halakowski. We can do everything technologically uh, through our highway systems, but really, from my perspective, it boils, boils down to the driver and educating the driver. We are continually committed to try to have people educated about how to not only drive on, on freeway systems with this magnitude of traffic, but also what to do when there's a traffic accident ahead of you. The partnership is what makes this work, folks. It really does. And as you see behind me, you see a partnership that is unfailing. You have commitments here that come all the way from, from the upper divisions for, through the leadership in, this, in not only this city, but in this state and on a federal level. And that's what makes it work. I am proud to be part of this. And hopefully, I will be able to do my part. Thank you for being here this morning. And uh, Godspeed. Sorry. And I'd like to introduce to you. <laughs> uh, Carla Petty uh, really doesn't need any introduction. She's with Federal Highways and the Regional Administrator. We've worked with Carla for a lot of years, and it's just a delight to have somebody at the table that is willing to help and gets in and, and comes up with solutions. Carla? Thank you, and good morning. It's so great to be here and to, um, to experience this collaboration and partnership. We couldn't do this by ourselves, and Federal Highway Administration is very proud to be part of this uh, effort. Now, you have heard some data. I'm going to give you a few more um, numbers, and I'm going to look at it from the national perspective. On our nation's roadway, traffic incidents account for more than 25% of the congestion we deal with on a daily basis. Now, Director Halakoski talked about incidents and, and um, transportation being personal, and it really does impact us when we have that many incidents happening on a daily basis. While most incidents are very short in duration, 30 minutes or less, the resulting congestion can last as much as four times longer. A collision causing a delay of only 10 minutes may cause traffic to be disrupted for 40 minutes. And for every minute traffic is disrupted, the risk of another collision occurring in the backup increases 2.8%. So not only do we want to avoid crashes, we want to minimize the number of secondary crashes. FHWA views this program as an impactful step in Arizona's implementation of the Traffic Incident Management National Unified Goal. This goal is responder safety, safe, quick clearance, and prompt, reliable, interoperable communications. This program is a great example of how regional and state agencies saw a problem in traffic delays and safety on the freeway system and came up with a short-term implementable plan for using technology and personnel instead of pavement. And we see this as really working towards addressing the issue. We are always working to look for ways to improve the system, including ways to increase the efficiency of freight traffic and enhance the safety. The expedited flow of accurate and up-to-date information among agencies involved in incident clearance will help responders clear these incidents quicker and provide more reliable information to those who provide traffic information to the motoring public. Unlike traditional strategies to reduce congestion and collisions, which often focus on just one segment of our roadway, this strategy will focus system-wide and address incidents regardless of the type. In addressing both collision reduction and mobility, all while building a strong partnership among our responders. Now I want to note, we talked about sharing best practices and so forth. I want to commend Arizona for really being a leader in traffic incident management. Arizona responders from all disciplines, transportation, law enforcement, fire, emergency medical services, towing and others, are some of the best in the nation. And they really are leading this and sharing the practices that they've implemented here. When incidents occur, even those that seem very minor or short in duration, the relationships formed through this co-location will save minutes and seconds. 
effectively improving the mobility and potentially saving lives by preventing secondary collisions. In summary, please know that Arizona is doing a great job with the implementation of traffic incident management, and this step will make it better. Thank you.